All right, guys, so now we can create posts when we're logged in and it'll it'll tell the database, it'll up, update the database with the user ID. So what I want to do now is add a relationship between the, the blog posts and the users. And we want to be able to display just the current users posts in the dashboard. All right, then we'll move on to access control and things like that. Um, so what we'll do is let's open up Visual Studio Code and let's go into the models. OK, so we want to go into the post model. And creating a relationship is super easy. All we have to do is create a function here. So we're going to say public function and we're going to call it user. And then all we have to do is say return this whoops, this belongs to and then the mo the, the uh, model of the user which will be app slash user so what this is saying is that a post has a relationship with a user and it belongs to a user all right so a single post belongs to a user so let's save that and then on the other side of it we're going to go to the user model and we're going to create a function called posts and we're going to add the has many relationships so return this has many and then app slash post okay so we're saying that a post or I'm sorry a user has many posts okay because a user can have more than one post so it's a one to many relationship so we'll save that and just adding these these two lines of code in these two files makes us so that we can use certain um, certain queries and and certain elements that normally wouldn't be available to us now in the dashboard we want to fetch the post for that that specific user so let's go to our dashboard controller and in the index we're going to add some stuff here we're going to say user underscore id equals and then we can get the the logged in users id by doing this all right and then once we have that let's go ahead and say user equals and then the user model and we want to find by the user ID. Okay, and then we're going to pass along to the dashboard. We'll say with and in here, let's say posts. And since we added that relationship, now we can say user posts just like that, which is very convenient. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we'll go to our dashboard view, dashboard.blade. And what we're going to do here is create a table. So let's say table class table and table striped. OK, and we want to have a table row with some headings. So let's do TR. And in here we'll do TH. Okay, all we're going to have is the title and then we're going to have two other headings which will be blank because that's going to be the edit and the delete buttons. Okay, so now under here we're going to loop through all the posts for that specific user. Okay, so for each post as post. Oops, don't need that. And then let's put, uh, we'll just copy that. So this is going to be the post title, which we can just get with uh, post title. And then we want the edit button. So that's going to be an A tag. So it's going to go to slash posts slash and then the ID slash edit. All right, and we'll give that a class of BTN and let's do BTN default. 
So let's check that so far. Uh, class HTTP control is you. Okay, we get to bring in the user model into the dashboard controller. So up here, let's say use app slash user. Uh, property post does not exist on this collection instance. What do you mean? Let's see. Oh, this is wrong. This should be user and then ID like that. And there we go. So this is going to show all of this user's posts. Now, what I'm going to do is log out and then register as a new user. I'll just say test at test.com. Register. Uh, let's see, not found. All right, so I think that this is happening because there are no posts found. So in the dashboard where we did our for each, actually, let's wrap it around the whole table. So we're going to put if count and we'll say if count. Um, yeah, posts is greater than zero. then we want to show all this stuff. Let's try that. No, that's not it. Uh, oh, that's spelled wrong. Wait a minute. Okay, so we're getting redirected to dashboard that's spelled wrong. So login controller, register, right here spelt that wrong you guys probably didn't do that so it should be all right now now when we register it'll redirect us to the right place which will be the dashboard and notice that john doe has no posts so in that that if statement in the template here let's go and let's say else you have no posts Okay, and we'll create a post. Let's call it post five. This is post five by John. Actually, we don't need to put by John. Okay, and now if we go to our dashboard, we'll only see post five because that's the only one that we created with this account. And the edit button should work. Okay, and now let's add a delete button. So we're going to do we're going to take the same stuff that we have in the show view for the delete, which is this form right here. And then we'll bring it into our dashboard view into this TH right here. Actually, these should be TDs, not THs. All right, so let's paste this in here. And that stuff should all be the same. We'll save it. And let's create another post just to delete. Okay, so we'll go to our dashboard and let's delete. And there we go. So that works good. Now, another thing I want to do is make it so that it says written on and then the date and then the name of the user. And since we added a relationship, we should be able to do that. So let's go to our uh, post index and go to right here we have written on and now we should be able to do we'll say by post and then we should be able to do user remember we added that user function with the relationship and then we can get any user field and we want to get the name all right so that should just automatically work so let's go back to posts and there it is so you can see it has the right user. We'll also do it on the show page. So let's just copy this and go to show.blade. And we're going to put that right here. So now both the index and the show should have the, the author's name. 
All right, so in the next video, we're going to start getting into access control because we don't want guests to be able to post and edit posts. We also don't want users to be able to edit each other's posts. So we'll get into that next.